And welcome back. Continuing with the resolution that declared a climate emergency in 2017, uh, the county and the county public school system has approved the largest procurement of electric school, school buses. Ron, the county has agreed to purchase 316 electric school buses, effectively replacing its diesel engine buses over the next four years. Is this the right move for the county? Well, you know, I think when we consider the impact on the environment, I think it is absolutely the best thing to do. And I know that the, the time that it's going to take for the electric vehicles to be really eco-friendly is considerably longer. We have to look at how long it's taken us to do the damage to the environment that we've been doing with the carbon emissions that essentially have been destroying you know, the, the atmosphere and making it difficult for us to, to do other things in our lives. I think the other part of it is, is that one thing that we don't consider is that, you know, our old diesel school buses, you know, when these kids, you know, they're waiting to get on bus and the bus pulls up, they're really at mouth and eye level inhaling these fumes as they get on school buses. And I think that's, you know, a, a health consideration that I think is worth, you know, it's doing by using electric vehicles. Um, it will take us time. And as one of my personal trainers used to say, Ron, you know, it, it took you 20 years to gain all of that fat that you've gained. You can't expect it to disappear in a year. So we have to consider that it's going to take some time and be willing to use that time to do what we need to do. Well, Ron, you can do what I do. Don't go to a personal trainer. And you, <laughs> and, and you, won't, hear, you won't hear that negative, that, those negative thoughts put in your head. All right. So, so Mark, now, automobile manufacturers are running to offer electric vehicles, and, but not discussed is whether the electric vehicles accomplish their goal of being eco-friendly. I mean, Ron's talking about emissions, but there's really a more, a larger carbon footprint issue that, has, that goes into this. And a report by the World Economic Forum says that it takes nine years for an electric vehicle to be greener than a diesel car. I mean, that's really the lifespan of most, most vehicles. So. Uh, and it points out the pollution caused by electric vehicles goes beyond the measurement of carbon emissions. So are we being sold a bill of goods? Is this the wisest move by the county? Some of our decisions uh, are really more faith-based as opposed to scientific or looking at the numbers. And, and the, the dirty secret, if you will, for uh, use of renewables is the problem with batteries. Uh, now, the assumption is made that the battery technology will improve and then get better over a period of time, and that that will provide the reliability that, that's necessary to be able to rely on renewables more in the future. Uh, that said, because we don't know precisely what the battery technology that I event eventually will be able to have and hopefully have, um, the, the life cycle consequences, the life cycle costs of battery, which have all sorts of metals and all sorts of problems, uh, environmental problems associated with it, are not adequately factored into the decision as to whether to go in sort of the electric route or to rely on, on fossil fuels. Listen, I'm, I'm all for, Ron, you know, being more environmentally friendly, but I'd go back, let's look at the actual science, let's look at the numbers to be able to make a decision as to what the best, best path forward at a particular point in time is. Well, I think what doesn't get discussed is, is as you discussed about the, about the batteries, but, you know, there's certainly a, a human cost as to how the cobalt is being uh, uh, mined uh, that is put into the batteries, both in, in the Congo and in China. The, the, there's talks of ch child labor being forced uh, to, to mine this, as well as the disposal problem of disposing their batteries. So, I'm all in favor of electric vehicles if, if they truly do what they say to do, but I think we should be aware and cognizant of all the, all the costs that are associated with it. So it's a big investment. The, the county has an admirable goal. I hope, I hope we uh, can, can meet it in the future. Now moving on to our last segment. More people live in Montgomery County than in Wyoming, Vermont, North Dakota, and even DC. We are a big county with a lot of stories. Subscribe to our channel and don't miss any of the important news happening in our community.